Welcome back to the show. The time is now 740 and Will Meyer, the movie guy, is here with us now to talk about what you should go and maybe what you shouldn't see. And I'm really excited about this because we are talking about the new Mary Poppins movie. And I yeah. love the original. I know. The love expectations it. are so high for this movie because so many people just love that original. And so this is one uh, that doesn't star Julie Andrews, of course. The sequel stars Emily Blunt, Lynn manuel Miranda, and Colin Firth. In this movie, uh, the magical nanny comes back um, after decades to help the bank siblings and Michael's children through a difficult time in their lives. Um, and now, like we said, there's a lot of pressure to get this one right because, because so many people so love the original movie. And, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say it's not as good as the original, but they did still do it pretty good job. Um, I was amazed at how they were able to really recapture the vibe of that original film. And so this movie is mischievous, it's whimsical, it's sweet, um, and it also just, uh, you really feel like you're transported to a world like you were transported to in the first film. Now this movie is nostalgic and it's derivative and it's kind of designed to constantly remind you of that original film. You know, the original had kites, this one has balloons, uh, the original had dancing chimney sweeps, this one has dancing lamplighters. Uh, you know, such a course of action means that you're kind of constantly reminded of that original film. That's kind of okay because, you know, I don't really want a Mary Poppins sequel that's going to reinvent the wheel. You know, mm -hmm. I, I love that this movie kind of retains the spirit of that original. So even though it's derivative, it is pretty delightful. Uh, the songs, uh, there, there aren't many things that are original about this film but the songs in fact are original and that one right there uh, is one of my favorite the one that combines uh, 2d animation and live action it's a song called a cover is not the book and you know i thought that was kind of a risk to try that again to combine those two things like they did in the original film uh, but it's really awesome in this movie it was not only one of the most entertaining scenes in the movie it's one of the most entertaining things i've seen on screen all year so not all the songs are home runs though Meryl Streep shows up, you know, she's almost always fantastic, but uh, it was really a bad song, honestly. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, and uh, a couple of the more emotional, sentimental ones, they didn't really connect with me. Uh, it wasn't as moving as the original film was, but there's so much to like about this film, especially that Emily Blunt performance. Mm -hmm. She is pitch perfect as Mary Poppins. Uh, she's everything that this character was in the first film. I just thought she was uh, fantastic. She's deserving of all the award nominations she's getting. So, um, you know, the story found wanting a little bit, but this movie is charming. It has a bunch of fun moments good songs, great performance, so three out of four stars. Overall, very impressed with this movie. Now, I want to know, are there any cameos from the original cast? There may or may not be at least That's one That's all cameo, you're going to give me, so, all right. Yeah. All right, moving right along, our next one, The Mule, a Clint Eastwood movie we got here. Yeah, I mean, he's the guy still, is 88 years he's old. He's still going. And this is the second movie he's directed this yeah. year. Uh, and so, uh, uh, well, sadly, the first film he made this year, The 1517 to Paris, was probably my least favorite movie of the year. But I'm happy to say this one is much, much better. Uh, this is a film that is inspired by a true story. It's about a 90-year-old yes, uh, World War II veteran and horticulturist who uh, was caught transporting millions of dollars worth of drugs from Mexico to the Midwest for a Mexican drug cartel. Um, um, and uh, you know, this is a film that uh, just is this, has this fascinating story, uh, and it's a, a comic thriller of sorts that works okay as a thriller, I think. Uh, with each run, the stakes get a little bit higher, and it gets a little bit more tense as different people, uh, DEA agents and the Mexican drug cartel, they start kind of closing in on this mule, uh, but it's never as exciting as it should be because that parallel storyline involving the DEA agents is just very generic, very bland. Bradley Cooper is the head of those mm -hmm. DEA agents. You know, he's about to win an Oscar, possibly, for A Star is Born, and he's given nothing really to do here so that was kind of sad and that storyline doesn't really do much to increase the tension uh, but I actually think this movie works better as a comedy it kind of reminded me of Gran Torino and mm -hmm. it's actually written by the same guy who wrote that uh, and this is this you know guy who's kind of a curmudgeon uh, but he's very charming uh, he has a distrust of technology and he also just uh, he's just an odd quirky guy but he, mm -hmm. he's made very likable here even though he's politically incorrect um, he's supposed to not stop at all on the way to the drop point he gets distracted by a barbecue joint he stops there He's supposed to text the cartel when he gets to where he's supposed to be. Doesn't know how to text, so uh, a lot of humor about his age here. Um, and uh, he's a guy that we like, even though he's a criminal, he's a bad husband, he's a bad father. He's trying to make up for all that yeah. now late in his life. Uh, and um, some of the more sentimental stuff here as well in the last half hour where it tries to show us him having a complete transformation rang a bit hollow for me. But even the things I didn't like about this film weren't enough to sink it. I think it's a very solid Clint Eastwood movie. I'd say two and a half out of four stars. Two and a half out of four, and then Mary Poppins three out of four. Yeah. Some good reviews this week, Will. Many people are heading to the box office, and always with the temperatures dropping, it's a great time to go it to movies. Where can we go for more reviews? You can go to my Facebook page or my Twitter page. It's Will Talk Movies. Awesome. Well, we're going to send things out to Rebecca Sweet for another 